perfect, okay. I need this one. I've been um, fortunate to be, uh, uh, be married 50 years, and fortunate enough to last that long, that's a, not a simple thing. And we stay together, that's another not a not simple thing. And so, more than several people have asked me, um, how do you do that? Well, first thing, you need a healthy lifestyle the last 50 years. So, we, we live here, we have organic everything, it's all good food and good air, and no stress, and um, it's a start. It doesn't do everything, but it helps. <laughs> uh, the other thing is um, we care about each other. We care about, we've been caring about each other since before we were married. And so we still do, and that helps a lot, because it just makes it so that if you start to drift apart, you say, wait a minute, I don't want to do that. I want to go back. And, and we just have been together forever. So the other thing is I have to say that it helped us a lot is that and when we started out, uh, and we, were in, we met in the 60s, and in the 60s, not unlike today, there's a lot of sort of tribalism going on, and people uh, would wear their values on the outside, so you could tell pretty much whether you might even have any compatibility with a person, just <laughs> a matter of a minute. <laughs> and so, uh, so we, it turns out that we had a shared worldview and shared values. And when you have a difficult decision or some kind of conflict, those become the axioms of which you, your logic works forward. And so you end up making the same decision because we have the same values and the same, same world view. And um, that served us very well. We're going to have some music tonight. Uh, the music band is the Rancho All Stars. And they are uh, the house band. And uh, they rarely play for parties, I might say. And the, um, um, they're all our friends. One of them is stuck in traffic and he'll be here a little later. <laughs> um, but um, they play the kind of music we like out here in West Marin. And I'm um, glad you all got to experience a little bit of West Marin. It's our home for 20 years and we really like it out here. Thank you all for coming. Lauren and Rachel are the nexus to all the people that you see here, and the, this community here is really, really special. So I just want to make sure that you also look among the people that are here and realize what amazing community that we are a part of because of them. Thank you very much for allowing me to be a part of that. I ran to a little too quick. So, at our 35th anniversary, and some of you were there, you know who you are, uh, we had it at our home, and it wouldn't, uh, the, we had about 100 people, and this is well over 200. So uh, at that time, uh, it was recently after the Oscar happened, and, and I was noticing that, uh, and we were noticing that, well, uh, I did all this great work, but what about Rachel? She did, her work was largely me. And so uh, I don't think I would be the person who could have gotten the Oscar uh, without her diligence. And so uh, we have a friend who is a bronze worker, and we picked up this plaque, and I awarded it to her uh, 15 years ago, and I'm going to read it right now. It says, Award of Merit to Rachel Carpenter in recognition of her continuing creative collaboration, inspiration, and unwavering dedication that has made it possible for us to achieve success, prosperity, and happiness. Presented by your husband and partner, Lauren Carpenter, 2003. Hey, Lauren and Rachel, this is your name.
Montreal guitar on the violin, on the saxophone. Steve Irwin's on the bass. Paul Avelli on the drums. This is Gary Goldenson. This is Andy Sampson. Mike Duke. Someone was killed beneath the town hall line. The people who saw said they all agreed that the slayer who ran looked a lot like me. She walks these hills in a long black veil. Cause it's my grave when the night. Nobody knows but me. 